Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my review of episode 1 of Supra Chat for Miss Supranational 2022. Welcome! So as what I've said earlier, this is now the beginning of Miss Supernational 2022 simply because the coronation of Shanik Rabe's successor from Namibia is going to be next next month! It is very very close and right now we're already starting with the Supra Chat and the winners. There will be two winners for Supra Chat which will automatically get a spot in the first cut. And I'm so excited. So the first, I mean the ladies, there's eight of them. So the ladies on the first group were Poland, Agata Dovyak, Slovakia, Jaina Bozarova, Lesotho, Buitomelo Siloto, Romania, Andra Take, Portugal, Anarita Aguiar, um, India, Ritika Katnani, Nigeria, Adaize Shineme, and Greece, Eliza Sofia. The first round were personal questions, while for the second round, these were questions from the fans. And on the third round, they were asked similar questions. So I really love that there are three questions being asked to them. But for the first round, since it's a personal question, the question came from their very own profile. So I didn't give much weight to it simply because the questions are very easy. It's just about themselves. So I gave more weight to the second question and to the last question because again the second question was random questions so this will really test how they do when it comes to public speaking and I love the third question where they were asked similar questions because it gives us an idea on who really stand out if they're given the same question so also in general question the last round they were all asked these question it is more important is it more important to be respected or to be liked I really love that question. Now, I will be giving my reviews, but at the same time, calling out my ranking from 8th place to 1st place, my winner for this group. So let's begin. My 8th place, of course, let's see if we will have the same ranking. My 8th place goes to Slovakia. Jana Vozarova, she was asked about the first thing that she noticed when she meet the person for the first time. For questions like this, I was actually expecting them to give an answer that is strong and beyond what is expected. But unfortunately, she just gave a very simple answer. But what I love about her responses though is that she is full of personality. I kind of enjoyed her first answer more when she talked about building things through DIY. For the last question, it was just okay-ish to me. I mean, she chose to be respected, but her defense wasn't convincing enough. So my number seven goes to Romania, Andra Take. She's got a very lovely personality. The question to her was, what makes her special? I mean, since the question that was asked to her was very personal and quite simple, it was good but wasn't really a wow answer. I like her though. For the last question, I was actually impressed with how she spoke about the two sides, but I feel like she didn't really choose which of the two would she prefer. So for the third question, I feel like she didn't really answer the question. My number six goes to Greece. Eliza Sofia, she was asked about the greatest quality that a good person must possess. I am not sure about her answer because I find it super short. Yes, she answered the question because I but I wish there was more elaboration because there was nothing wow about it. It was just a big a very very basic answer. And if you give us that kind of answer in a beauty pageant, you'll most likely end up as a fourth one up or somewhere on the last part of the ranking. For the last question, her answer here may be simple, but if you think of it, that was actually the very essence and difference of respect and like. And I like her more on the last rounds. My fifth place for this group goes to Portugal. 
Anarita Aguiar. She was the only one who spoke in her own language and thank goodness for the outstanding interpretation. She was asked whether she listened to her head or heart in making decisions. The first half of her of the sentence that she said was really good. It talked about the importance of having balance between the two, but the follow-up and the last half of her response, I feel like it wasn't as good and it wasn't as strong as the first sentence. For the last question, I think her response was more acceptable in comparison to the other ladies. I would place her quite higher just purely based on the last question. My fourth place goes to Lesotho. Boitomelo Seloto, she was asked about the changes that she wanted to make in her country. First off, I commend her for starting with a positive statement about her country before citing the issue that she wanted to change. I really, really like that. That is actually one of the good tips in answering questions. When there are questions where you're like required to give a negative answer, try to give a general positive statement first before giving your answer so i really really like that then she mentioned about the youth in her country needs more support from elders which i really find interesting and a good answer to be honest but what's lacking as well is elaboration her answer made me ask a follow-up question why do youth in your country needs support from elders and that question arises because she did not elaborate on her answer. If only she did, I think it would have been a stronger answer. For the last question, I love how she weighed both sides and chose which side she prefer. I honestly love when she said about respect which is which is knowing about each other's boundaries. I really love that idea. My third place for this group goes to Poland. Agata Dovia. On the personal question, she was very confident and well-spoken and loved her personality since it was personal. But the second question, her question was about changing narrative of beauty pageant. Well, when that question was asked to her, she seems very surprised by the unexpected question. And you can see it in her face. And she seemed to stutter a little bit as well. Although she was able to even answer, I feel like it lacked more depth. To me it also borderline simplicity when it comes to her response it didn't really give us that bang that wow it didn't give us a jaw-dropping moment it was just okay honestly the question seems to be very familiar in the world of pageantry so i was a little bit unsatisfied with her response however speaking wise she was great because she has the command of speaking in English very well. Her final question, her final response to the last question was much better. I love how she presented her response and how she elaborated her response. So that was an additional boost for her because of the last round. My second choice or my number two for this group goes to Nigeria. Adaize Shineme, she was asked to give advice to young women on how to handle negative comments online. I love her response and on how she gave very realistic suggestions and solutions. If there's improvement that I would suggest, I would love her thoughts to be presented very well because it feels like the points are good. There are a lot of great points from her, but it feels like it's all over the place. I just wish it was presented in a well-mannered presentation because it would have been more impactful. For the last question, there were only two people who impressed me on the last round of question. It was Nigeria and India. And honestly, both gave very quite similar thoughts when it comes to response, but delivery-wise, I feel like India has a huge upper hand in presenting her answer. And that's one thing that I wanted Nigeria to work on. I really, really love her thoughts. I love the idea that she's got, but her delivery and presentation presentation is something that she really needs to work on. But good job to her still. It was an impressive performances all throughout. And my winner for the first episode of Supra Chat goes to, I think we already know, India. Ritika Katnani, she was asked about her inspiration behind her unlabeled initiative. All I can say is that she gave an outstanding response. And I love how she personalized her response by talking about her experience, which led her to creating her ground up project. I love how she sounded very calm and confident at the same time and her delivery was absolutely 
flawless. And for the last question, it was a smooth but powerful answer. Honestly, no competition in this group for India. She is outright the clear winner, no doubt. I mean, if you are if we're if we're going to score each of these contestants, I feel like India is in here and the second place is going to be here. And then the rest down under. I mean, she's just too good for this group. So hopefully she will be chosen as the winner for Supra Chat Episode 1 so that she can be able to advance to the next round and we'll see how she does in the next round of the Supra Chat. But that's it. Here's my winner and my choices, my ranking, my result for the Episode 1 of Supra Chat. And I would love to know your thoughts and your commentaries about my ranking and my commentaries as well. Whether you agree with my comments and with my ranking. So don't forget to leave your comments below, don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.